A 60 kilogram high jumper lands on a mat after her jump. The mat brings her to a stop after one second, and she is traveling at five meters per second when she's landed on the mat. Now this is a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna draw a little picture, a diagram. And so this, uh, the high jumper jumps up high, and then eventually she's going to land on a mat. Now the split second before she actually hits the mat, we are told that her velocity is five meters per second. But mats are designed to bring you to rest. And so this mat is going to accept this woman and she's going to, it's going to change her velocity to be zero meters per second. Now I think we have enough information. We have a mass of 60 kilograms. We have a velocity, final, uh, velocity initial of 5 meters per second. We have a velocity final of 0 meters per second. And the question asks, what is the change in momentum? So we're looking for delta momentum, and that is in question mark kilograms times meters per second. So I will just take the change in momentum part of the formula, and then I'll change the use the mass times velocity final minus velocity initial. If I replace numbers for letters now, I don't know what change in momentum is, but I do know what mass is. It's 60. I don't know what velocity, I'm sorry, I do know what velocity final is. It's 0 minus, and velocity initial is 5. Change in momentum equals negative 300 kilograms times meters per second. And so this negative sign just means it's going from a high momentum, it's going to a low momentum, and uh, in this case the low momentum is zero. We have the same situation, a, 50, a 60 kilogram high jumper lands on a mat after her jump. The mat brings her to a stop after one second. And she was traveling at five meters per second when she landed on the mat. From the last question, I know that change in momentum is negative 300 kilograms times meters per second. But I'm also given this information, time is one second. The thing that I'm looking for is force, that's going to be in newtons, and so I'm going to use the equation change in momentum equals force times time. If I replace numbers for letters, negative 300 equals, I don't know what force is, times one second, and so that means that force equals negative 300 hundred newtons. And in here the negative sign uh, implies a direction. Opposite the direction she was initially traveling. 